Welcome to today's show. Today is 19th of July 2018 and we are going to highlight some of the important things which happened yesterday. Uh, as you know, yesterday, or as you may know, yesterday was the Nelson Mandela International Day. That is July 18th. And this is a big day which brings together world leaders and people from all walks of life uh, to celebrate the life of a big man, a man who was selfless, a man who lived his life to the fullest. As we know, if Nelson Mandela was alive today, he could be 100 years old. So basically they were celebrating his 100th birthday. And we know many things about Nelson Mandela. <coughs> and in this discussion, we will be talking with Walter. He will be sharing what he knows about Nelson Mandela and what inspires him most. Uh, to start with, Nelson Mandela was the former president, actually the founding father of South Africa. He was also the Nobel Prize winner. Nobel Prize winner. Uh, back those days. So, Walter, what do you remember most about Nelson Mandela? My history on Mandela lies mostly along freedom fighting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's a renowned freedom fighter for the South Africa. Yes. And we know the apartheid regime in South Africa mm. and the, the colonialism that South Africa faced. Mm. He was a strong man who stood even 27 years in prison. Yes for South Africa to gain independence and is the founding president of South Africa. Yes, yes. Yeah. So I'm told he spent, you said, 27 years in prison. Yeah, he was in prison for and, 27 uh, years. I was surprised recently when an organization came and said, told the people all over the world yeah. that they were auctioneering his yeah. room at Robben Highland yeah. uh, for a night or two. And people could be hundreds of dollars to sleep in that room yeah do you think that was in honor of nelson mandela <laughs> no that was exploiting <laughs> <laughs> imagine people people selling your room where you you spend your 27 years that was exploitation uh also <clears throat> from another angle most people if they are imprisoned for 27 years yeah. they could not maintain their cool after 27 years in prison, by the way, when you come out, I guess you, you will be different, you will yeah, be yeah, bitter, yeah. you won't be a friendly person, yeah. probably. Yeah. Uh, what do you think made Man Nelson Mandela stronger, even after coming out of prison, after so many decades in prison? Is it, there is humility in him. Mm -hmm. uh, that's pure humility in him. Yes. And he has that heart of forgiveness mm -hmm. and staying focused to what, to what he wanted to achieve yes for him mm -hmm. freedom was important these other things did not matter so he had an affection yeah even if we could stay in prison for he over stayed, 40 years he stayed focused he still stayed mission. focused and yeah. steadfast yeah towards that big goal yeah thank you now i want us to watch what people said at this memorial in johannesburg south africa yeah one of the big men who spoke at the function was uh, the former president of the United States of America. He is the president. He is the president. Yeah. Buana Barack Hussein Obama. Yeah. He had to find a way of cutting across embedded histories, structures of governing, and the human attitudes they had given life to over time. He was cognizant of the fact that he was a flawed human being and said in many occasions that he was not a saint. It is a plain fact that racial discrimination still exists in both the United States and South Africa. And it is also a fact that the accumulated disadvantages of years of institutionalized oppression have created yawning disparities in income and in wealth and in education, and in health, in personal safety, and access to credit. Women and girls around the world continue to be blocked from positions of power and authority. They continue to be prevented from getting a basic education, 
They are disproportionately victimized by violence and abuse. They're still paid less than men for doing the same work. That's still happening. Many developing countries now are looking at China's model of authoritarian control combined with mercantilist capitalism as preferable to the messiness of democracy. Who needs free speech as long as the economy is going good? The free press is under attack. Censorship and state control of media is on the rise. Social media, once seen as a mechanism to promote knowledge and understanding and solidarity, has proved to be just as effective promoting hatred and paranoia and propaganda and conspiracy theories. Uh, thank you for watching this episode and tuning in to Kerosi TV. Now that you are inspired by the life of President, the former President, the founding father, the Nobel Prize winner, Bernard Nelson Mandela, now it is your turn to go out there and perform. Do something that people will remember after you are gone from this world. Thank you very much. Keep coming back for more episodes. And before you leave, make sure you subscribe to our channel, Kerosi TV. Thank you.